Welcome to the Holistic Health Bites podcast. I'm your host, Andrea Nicholson, crime scene investigator turned metabolic health investigator. This podcast provides bite-sized episodes to help you have a pristine health scene so you can live a vibrant, adventure-filled life. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the Holistic Health Bites podcast. Today, we are talking all about strategies for supporting liver health and detoxification. Most of us know that the liver is used in detoxification, but did you also know that this vital organ is responsible for a lot of your metabolism, digestion, nutrient synthesis, and even nutrient storage? Sadly, our modern lifestyles, highly processed foods, and exposure to toxins place a huge burden on the liver, and this affects its ability to perform optimally. So today, we're going to explore strategies for supporting your liver health and detoxification to promote overall well-being. We will discuss nutrition tips, herbal and supplement recommendations, hydration, exercise, sleep, stress management, and toxin identification and removal, as well as the potential benefits for liver health on other conditions such as blood sugar handling, skin issues, energy metabolism, and cholesterol levels. So let's start off with nutrition tips for liver health. Of course, we want to try to eliminate as many highly processed and refined foods as possible. These are definitely going to interfere with optimal liver function. And so we'd rather emphasize whole real foods. So this is going to include quality animal proteins that would be meat, seafood, eggs, and dairy if your body agrees with it. This would also include non-starchy vegetables if your body handles them well. So things like leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, onions, garlic, and most vegetables that are grown above the ground. These are going to be filled with antioxidants and many beneficial vitamins and minerals. Healthy fats are also really beneficial for healthy liver function. So things that come from quality animal products and the whole fatty fruits like olives, avocados, and coconut. You can include nuts and seeds if your body handles them well and limited quantities of low sugar fruits like berries and the starchier vegetables depending on your overall health status. Now, if you have blood sugar imbalances, type 2 diabetes, or insulin resistance, it's probably going to be best to avoid the higher glycemic foods so that you can better manage those blood sugar levels. Now, contrary to mainstream recommendations, I'm not a big fan of grains, even whole grains. Many people are sensitive to grains, and that causes digestive issues, achy joints, and autoimmune flares, headaches, and so many more things. They, these grains contain anti-nutrients that can steal various minerals and nutrients from your body, and a lot of them also have plant toxins that can cause inflammation. Now, of course, it's obvious that we need to limit alcohol, and it's also important to eliminate or reduce as much as possible any other artificial ingredients like sweeteners, colors, preservatives, and flavorings. And of course, adequate hydration always plays a key role in overall health and liver and detoxification are included in that. We detox a lot of our toxins through urine and feces, and water plays a huge role in both of those processes. Many of the liver's chemical reactions also need water to occur. Proper hydration is best done with filtered water that has minerals added back in. A lot of the filters will remove those valuable minerals. Let's move on to herbal and supplement recommendations. So much like our foods can provide nutrients that we need for liver health, certain herbs and supplements can provide a little extra support for liver health and detoxification. So here's a few options. Milk thistle is one of the most common liver supplements. This is known for its liver protective properties and ability to even help the liver regenerate. So this helps those cells turn over quicker, which keeps the liver young, vital, and functioning well. Dandelion root is another great one that can be taken as a tea or as a supplement. And this really helps in liver detoxification by increasing bile production and helping healthy digestion. Turmeric, which contains curcumin, is a spice often found in things like Indian food, but it can also come in a form of tea. 
This has powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that are great for liver health. N-acetylcysteine or NAC supports glutathione production. Glutathione is our master antioxidant that's tremendously involved in liver detoxification, but really it's involved in oxidative reactions throughout the body as well. Antioxidants help to reduce oxidative damage caused by either oxygen or nitrogen molecules that have an unpaired electron. These are known as free radicals or otherwise known as reactive oxygen species or reactive nitrogen species. These free radicals can come from exposures to various chemicals and toxins that come from outside the body, but we also actually generate a lot of our own free radicals in normal metabolic processes. These can cause serious damage to our tissues if we don't have adequate antioxidants to donate that extra electron. Glutathione is considered our master antioxidant that provides the bulk of these electrons. NAC is the precursor to glutathione, and therefore it can be helpful in boosting glutathione levels. Alpha-lipoic acid, or ALA, can act as an antioxidant and help in liver health. This supplement can be beneficial in preventing cataracts, preventing and aiding in cancer treatment, treating diabetes and diabetic neuropathy, as well as helping in liver disease. And the last category I'll talk about today are bile acids, digestive enzymes, and stomach acid supplementation. Bile acids are made in the liver and then stored in the gallbladder. They're used in emulsifying fats and digesting proteins. Digestive enzymes help to break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And stomach acid is necessary for breaking down foods and killing off microbes that come into the stomach. Proper digestion of these foods helps the liver be more efficient at assimilating nutrients and eliminating toxins. How does exercise impact liver health? Detoxification occurs through urine, feces, skin, lungs, and even tears. When we exercise, we increase sweating and our breathing rate, thereby helping to eliminate toxins through those mechanisms. Exercise also promotes blood circulation, which aids in delivery of nutrients to the liver and removal of toxins. And our lymphatic system carries a lot of our toxins. Unlike our blood vessel system, the lymphatic system doesn't have a pump or any mechanism to force movement of the toxins innately built into it. Our bodily muscles actually pump the lymphatic system as they contract and relax. So the more you use your muscles, the more your lymphatic system moves. You can also stimulate lymphatic system movement by dry skin brushing, lymphatic massage, rebounder jumping, and even laying on the ground with your feet elevated to use gravity to your favor. When it comes to exercise, I always recommend do whatever kind you'll stick with. Walking, jogging, cycling, weightlifting, yoga, kickboxing, dancing, any activity works. Now, I do recommend aiming for at least 30 minutes most days of the week. I do also recommend that you incorporate strength training exercises to build lean muscle mass, which can support metabolic processes and your liver health. Remember, your organs are all made of muscle as well. How about sleep and liver health? Sleep, of course, is vital for so many benefits, and liver and detoxification are no exception. So general recommendations are aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep per night to allow the body to rest and repair while you're sleeping. It's really helpful to establish a regular sleep routine by creating a calming bedtime routine and ensuring a great, comfortable sleep environment. So the wind down routine can include things like breathing exercises, stretching, meditation, journaling, reading, listening to binaural beats, or even laying on an acupressure mat. Minimizing exposure to electronic device screens and stimulating activities before bed can also help promote better sleep quality. Stress, of course, plays a huge role in all aspects of our health, and chronic stress can definitely impact your overall health. Liver and detoxification are, again, not excluded here. So consider things to manage your stress loads, such as deep breathing exercises, meditation, yoga, or any other mindfulness activity. 
You can also engage in a lot of activities that bring you joy, happiness, relaxation, and feelings of safety and love. This can include doing more hobbies, spending time in nature, connecting with your loved ones or pets, and even laughing. Prioritize taking care of yourself and set boundaries to reduce your exposure to stress. We also want to identify and remove toxins to just minimize the amount of burden your liver has to detoxify. The liver already has a lot to do. So let's lighten the burden by reducing exposure to toxins wherever we can. We'll never live completely toxin free, but we can eliminate a lot of our daily exposures by making simple choices for cleaner products. Take a really good look at your cleaning products, your personal care products, cosmetics, and any pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, insecticides, all of those kinds of things that you use around your home or office. Choose non-toxic or low toxin products wherever possible. One of the easiest changes to make is to always opt for fragrance free products or only use products that are scented with real essential oils. You can also use apps like Think Dirty to check the toxin load of various personal and home care products. Of course, choosing organic produce and organic products wherever possible and consuming foods that are low in pesticides and additives to begin with will reduce your toxic burden as well. Consider adding an air purifier or indoor plants that can help improve your indoor air quality. And I always recommend filtering your drinking water to ex reduce exposure from the contaminants that are in our drinking water today. I personally have a whole home filter in my house, so I know that I'm drinking clean water, but I'm also using clean water for my laundry, cooking, and even showers. Now the liver plays a huge role in a lot of other health conditions. It's not just about detoxification, but the liver can have a positive impact on many other health conditions, such as blood sugar handling, skin issues, energy metabolism, and cholesterol and lipid handling. When it comes to blood sugar handling, the healthy liver supports proper glucose metabolism and can help regulate proper blood sugar levels. The liver is one of the major sources of sugar storage and also shuttling that sugar throughout the body to be used for energy. Skin issues like eczema or acne or rosacea, any of these kinds of things are directly linked to liver health. So supporting your overall liver can reduce the impact of these various skin conditions. The liver plays a vital role in overall energy metabolism and therefore optimizing liver function can enhance your body's overall energy levels. The liver is a major store for glucose and glycogen and also plays a big role in shuttling fats throughout the body to be used for energy production. And of course, the liver is also the major site of cholesterol and lipid synthesis. So as nutrients are coming in, the liver is packaging various things up and cholesterol and lipids are a big part of that. If the liver is not functioning ideally, you may overproduce cholesterol and some of the lipoproteins that can contribute to elevated lipids. Supporting liver health and detoxification is essential for overall well-being. By implementing some of these strategies for proper nutrition, adding in some herbal supplements, ensuring you're getting adequately hydrated, you're getting exercise, you're prioritizing quality sleep, managing your stress loads, and reducing your toxin exposure, you can optimize your liver function and promote overall health. Of course, I always recommend you consult your healthcare practitioner before making any significant changes to your diet, lifestyle, or supplementation routine, especially if you have existing health conditions or you're taking medications. Now, I'd be happy to give you some recommendations on your next best steps. If you're interested in that, schedule a free consultation with me to discuss your personal situation. Prioritize your liver health and you will reap the benefits of improved vitality, enhanced well-being, and an overall healthier body. Thanks for being a faithful listener to the podcast. I'd love it if you left me a five-star review on this podcast so that others can more easily find this valuable information. Did you know I also work one-on-one -on -one with clients? I approach solving health challenges like I approached solving crimes. 
by conducting a thorough investigation into your case. Sadly, hundreds of millions of people in the US have insulin resistance, prediabetes, and diabetes, and the vast majority have no idea. I'm here to fix that. If you struggle with low energy, stubborn weight, hypertension, sleep disturbances, or any other undesired symptoms, let's talk. All you have to do is schedule a free call. The link will be in the show notes. And no, you do not need to live near me.